Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to transfer all your data from your old Android device, or it can be an iPhone, to the Google Pixel devices. So the steps are very simple and very easy, and it is applicable for any Android device, be it Samsung, Huawei, or any other brand, or it can be an iPhone. I just bought the Google Pixel 3 XL, and before I was using the Galaxy Note 8. And when you buy a new device, the most tiring thing to do is transfer each and every contact, messages, pictures, videos, and your email accounts. But luckily, Google has a very good solution for that. So let's start the video, but before I start. So when you boot up your Google Pixel, it will give you this screen. So all we need to do to complete the transfer is just follow the steps given in the boot up process of Google Pixel. So the first thing what you need to do is transfer your SIM card. So for example, suppose you have an iPhone, you need to first disable the iMessages. So, but if you have an Android device, then you don't have to worry about that. Now Pixel 3 XL has the SIM card tray at the bottom. So now I have changed my main SIM in the Google Pixel. Now I have to just follow the steps. So click on start. It's always good to connect to a Wi-Fi network when you're doing this process. So either you can use your mobile data or you can use Wi-Fi. I will choose Wi-Fi. Once you connect to Wi-Fi, it will look for an update and you will get this screen. Now it says that copy apps and data, transfer your applications, photos, contacts, Google accounts, and you can choose which content you want to copy. So click on next. Now it says use your old phone. So if you have an iPhone on Android, you need to turn it on and keep it unlocked. So my, as you can see, my Note 8 is unlocked. Click on next. Now it's asking for find your old phone's cable. So use a cable that fits your old phone. That is, this is usually the cable used for charging. So the cable which came with my Note 8, I will try to plug in with that. And for every Google Pixel device, you get this USB connector. We will connect both these devices with this USB connector. And this is the cable came with my Note 8. So this is how you're gonna connect it. Now you can see that from the USB connector it's trying to connect. Now it's asking me to put my screen lock for the Note 8. I click on next and I unlock my Note 8 now. So again, it's asking the permission for copying data to my new phone. So it's saying that your data, including your Google account and applications will be transferred to your new phone. Click on copy. Now you can see the copying accounts messages on both the smartphones. Now it's asking me to enter my email address. So you can see the transfer process has begun. So now I get this option, what all I can transfer. So for example, if you have your Android device, which is maybe 128 GB or 256 GB and your Google Pixel, like for example, this one is 64 GB. So to transfer all the data will not be possible. But luckily I have my Note 8, which is 64 GB and Google Pixel XL is, Pixel 3 XL is also 64 GB. So it's easy to transfer all the data. But again, I have the options to choose. So certainly I would like to have all my applications because I don't want to reinstall them and I might forget some of them. Call history, yes. I want all my contacts to be transferred. Device settings, music, photos and video. So you can skip the photos and videos. Suppose your older device has uh, more photos and videos, for example, 128 GB or 90 GB or something like that, because this device storage is 64 GB. So, but again, for me, you can see the photos and videos are 31 GB. So I'll keep it SMS and messages. And this will sync automatically your Google calendar, photos, contacts, and Gmail, because they are part of the Gmail account. So I click on copy. So now it has begun the process of copying from my old device. My Galaxy Note 8, it says that it's copying all the, the information. But again, one good thing with Google Pixel 3 XL or in general with Google Pixel devices, it is copying all my content from my old device. But at the same time, I can continue with the boot up process. So I click on next. So I'm continuing my boot up process, but at the background is doing the copy of all my information from my old phone. Click on accept. So as you can see, I have almost finished setting up my 
device and in the background my data is getting copied since my data is quite big it will take some time so i'll skip this step so it took around 15 to 20 minutes to copy everything as you can see finally everything has been copied from my old device to the new device so i can close the old one all the application 124 applications call history contacts device setting and etc everything has been copied it took me around 20 minutes to copy everything so it depends on how big your data is it will take more time or less time so i click on done supplying finishing touches so again it will take minute or two so finally the whole setup has been done i can remove my usb connector but to be very honest it took a lot of time say around 25 minutes to complete the whole setup of transferring the data from my old phone to the new phone now pixel is asking me to choose one of the launcher i will choose the default launcher always so this is the home screen and you can see in the background it is still completing the setup so as of now it has installed three out of 128 applications saving the screenshots everything so if i go to my dialer i can see all my last calls everything has been saved all the calls when i go to the messages i have all my messages transferred to the new device when i go to my photos so i can see all my photos have been backed up properly to install the application i think it was going to take a lot of time but as the application will keep getting installed it will fill up the page so this is how you can transfer all your data from your old device which can be an iphone or an android phone to your new google pixel device i would say it takes some time to install everything but again you don't have any headache of installing each and every applications personally so it might take some time you can leave your device on charging as it might take a lot of battery while installing the application and uh, once uh, everything is done you have like copy paste your old device so you don't have to worry about anything all your messages emails contacts everything has been nicely saved i think google gives you a very good tool in the boot up process and i think every android device should have it samsung has their own application side sync same way huawei has their own so this was a small tutorial if you change your device if you buy a new google pixel you can easily transfer everything from your old device to the pixel device i'll be making more videos on pixel because soon Pixel will be getting the Android Q update. So definitely more videos coming soon on Google Pixel. Also you can click over here to see my new video on Xiaomi's Redmi Go. Cheapest Xiaomi smartphone which cost only $60. If you like my videos kindly subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up. I will really appreciate that. See you soon in my next video. Till then goodbye and peace out. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, kindly hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will really appreciate that. Also click on the notification icon, the bell icon, so you'll constantly get updated with my new videos. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Till then, goodbye.